Uh, I first landed in the Middle East on October 6th, 1973. It was the day the fourth Middle East war erupted. I've covered every war, revolution, and uprising ever since. So I want to give you 10 broad bottom lines for the whole region. And then I'm going to take you through 10 bottom lines for four of the big flashpoints. I'm going to talk about the more hopeful side and the future and what lies down the road. An undisciplined militia with a rigid and intolerant ideology walked over a conventional army that the U.S. Army trained, armed, and aided. Iran will look at the Gulf countries and at Europe, but that there are limits on what the new president can do. He doesn't want to be seen to be racing back into um, the United States as the most important player in its diplomatic universe. This is the man to monitor. This is a man who is quite innovative, who took the first phone call from an American president since the revolution. I will tell you candidly, I've been covering the region now for 41 years, and I have never been as scared as I am now. I'm gonna be truthful with you, and I'm gonna take you through what's happening in the region.